Good Monday morning, everybody. I'm over here because uh, I'm going to do a little rough grading on this job. I've got another new, new construction house. I haven't been over here in a few months, and it's kind of a mess, and they don't have a dumpster at this one, I guess, right now, or they've been dumping it. But anywho, I'm going to start trying to go in here and get my rough grade and clean a little bit of this up. I still got the water and sewer line to go put in the water meters on the other side of that tree and for some reason i think the sewer goes to the back so that may be kind of kind of interesting they have a little brush to clear out on that but as you can see everything's kind of grown up over here i think i dug this footing out earlier in the springtime and i haven't been back over here in quite a while but it's a little bit of a mess not not a real big yard the property line is just kind of right behind that fence and i also think that fence has got to come out or move i think the the neighboring house i think they built it without really checking anything and it's like five or six feet on this guy's property but you can kind of see what we have to clean up a little bit it won't be too bad I got to cut some of this down because that line on the side of the house is about where they like to have the finish grade so I'll cut a bunch of this and either take it around to the front or they got some lots across the street we'll put it over there because it's a lot of red clay and rock again that's what we like to grow in Missouri yeah not too bad it's a little bit of rough grading. A little update on my door. I did get it fixed over the weekend. It's all glued back in there nice and tight. Apparently, whenever I put it back in before, I knocked, I actually knocked it out. Uh, I think it was last, last spring or last winter. I was tearing a building down and uh, it had concrete, it was concrete block walls and everything. I guess I was picking those up and moving and had a piece of rebar that flung out from another one. It actually swung down, just tapped the glass and shattered it and dented it in right there. So that's when I replaced the glass and everything at that time. And uh, from the factory or whatever, Takahuchi just uses like a double-sided sticky tape. And for some other reason, I didn't get that or put that back on there. I just got some of that urethane stuff from uh, O'Reilly's and tried to put on there, but I guess I didn't put the right primer on the uh, on the door frame right here. Because when I cleaned it all off, I used a like a little right angle grinder with one of those Scotch Brite pads and everything, and just I just shot normal primer back on there, then put that urethane stuff in there, and uh, it actually worked out that this last weekend, Saturday, I did this. A friend of mine's got a diesel shop next door to my shop. And his windshield guy was in there, so he looked at it and he had some sort of primer that I can't he call it. He had some special name for it, weld the weld the glass or something like that, and you just kind of smear it on with like a cotton swab. And it was a thicker looking epoxy primer, I guess. And then you put that on there, then we put some good urethane and then set that glass on there and then I let it set over the weekend and put the door back in it last night. And so far so good it doesn't rattle or anything like it used to so i guess we'll see see how it holds up and stuff okay let's get the camera set up and uh start doing a little rough grading
here's what we got a few hours later. Like I said, I didn't do much with the front because we still got to come back. I think we're going to have to cut some more for the driveway and they're supposed to have a dumpster on the way to throw all this junk away. And then I took down the temporary power. I think the electrician's going to come by a little bit and pick that up because I got a little more cutting to do down there. But the water meter's in the front, so that's all going to get dug up anyways. And then the side's also going to get dug up. Like I said, I believe the sewer's back that way because that's where it comes out of the house, and then there's the water line. So at least I kind of got the jungle knocked down and under control a little bit. And started kind of getting the rough grade established. I'm gonna have to do a little a little more back here because it's pretty flat. Just to kind of make sure that the water drains around and drains away from the house. I've also got to double check with them and see. If they want me to clear all this brush, I think there's, yeah, there's like there's a fence in there. And it looks like the homeowner's been bringing some stuff out here, so I don't know. I've done it before where I've cleaned it out and they were mad and wanted to leave it, so I'll just wait till they give me the yay or nay on that. And then here's this side lots of rock. I said they've had some people complain about it. I thought it was just a lot of trash and stuff over. I can see. I should have brought the brush hog with me instead of the loader. But this one still needs the rough gray done underneath there. I mean, you can kind of tell here with some of the rock. And it's pretty uneven. It also still needs the water and sewer line put in. Their plumber went on vacation for two weeks and two days before he got back is when i went on vacation for a week so now we're a few weeks behind on getting our services and everything put in but the after for today i didn't get real carried away with trying to cut it or really rough grade it or get it where it needs to be i've still got to do the sewer and water which i think they both go out towards that way i just had some neighbors and stuff complaining from all the grass and junk which i don't blame them this stuff is like three feet tall I have to put a little bit of a swell through here because this is kind of a clear case of I built the house too low it looks like it's kind of a weird lot it really dropped off because the front was higher but this back corner you can tell where the water is going to want to run down and kind of hit there so I got to get some of it to go that way and the rest of it to go back through here it looks like at one point in time somebody kind of put a little swell or berm kind of back along the edge of the property to stop some of that water but I bet they're going to get a bunch of it from right here off this guy's. I'm out of here for today.